That's why Mikita, aka Fish2013, his online handle belongs to the best in the world, definitely amongst the top five, in my opinion, online and live. And I'll show you why. So we kick it off with Matthias opening, min raising, Mikita opting to 3-bet to 60k. And we have a look and we see in Chippy V that King Queen off is a reasonable 3-bet. However, we are midway, midway throughout the tournament. We see that half of the field are busted. So we want to be using realistic tournament ranges and not just some uh, cash game ranges with NTs without rake. And if we consider the ICM impact, we see that actually King Queen off is a pure three bet. It makes our opponent fold a lot of ASEX, especially with a stack depth of 25 to 30 big blinds. Ace kings, ace queens are very often going all in, but they're going to be calling with king jack suited, king 10 suited, and we still do well against some suited a6. We also defend a lot tighter, which I think is makes more sense. I've never had a great feeling about flooding king 9 suited or queen 9 suited or 10 9 suited or pocket fours or fives here. I think a lot of these hands are way too loose. But again, it's just Chip EV doesn't consider the ICM impact. So that is more realistic. That's proper tournament ranges, as we can see here. And we see king queen off is a pure three bet. But now things are getting very tricky because something happens that's not supposed to happen, which is Phil Nagy, the uh, CEO of the WPN network and uh, America's card room, as far as I know, by the way, great storm challenge. Um, I tweeted this recently. So uh, mad respect for the promotion they have been pulling off for the last couple of months. This is what poker needs and it also deserves some respect. Let's move on. Opposite just this. Phil decides to uh, call. Um, big fan. Again, it's we're playing poker naughty. here. It's a little so naughty. if you think that's the right play and you have your reasons, Cheeky. it might make sense. In theory, we probably just want to throw in a small 4-bet. Um, we can also do it with some bluffs because if we 3-bet to 120k and Matthias jams, and let's say we have ace-queen off or uh, maybe like a king-queen suitor, whatever, we still want to have a few bluffs, then Matthias is going to be in a very strong range. So we can still have some 4-bet bluffs. Of course, we're going to be committed against Mikita, but we can still get away against Matthias if he wakes up with that. The the three bet and the call um, is relatively small, two and a half times the sizing of the open race. I think Matthias has a fairly easy odds call action, here with the suited ace, trying to uh, hit something really strong, and he does so. Comes up empty. Now the board comes Some queen problems. nine three, and I think Mikita is in a really awkward spot here. Um, I don't think he's Three's that afraid of Matthias. He's of course afraid of Philip who could have po potentially pocket nines, who could have potentially pocket queens, on the and then a few slow plays, not, maybe some ace queens, pairs. jacks and tens. Ways, ace um, ten, ace jack, haven't seen Phil pairs. Philip playing really um, that many hands, Makita. so it's hard for me to say Follow what he two. is, what kind of hands he's sure flooding with. On the button, maybe. But yeah, things are already getting dicey. I think on the flop we cannot get away. And also Mikita's relatively short with 20 big blinds in a 3-bet pot, top pair, second best kicker. That's not looking good or too good for my man here. Turn blank now. It happens what has to happen. Philip jams. I think I prefer it's the check really back. Spot. I, don't I think it looks Nagy way too strong. Like You're not going to have a lot of draws. Like Jack 10s. I think Mikita would end up calling ace queen because Philip could ball. potentially oh, cold call king queen suited. Oh, but goodness. this is where things can get really, really dicey. Maybe Philip jams his pocket jacks, wants yeah, to protect yeah, against ace king, really right? Is. Like, you never really know. And then you look the incredibly being, stupid. I mean, I have seen some really stupid stuff happening on TV. Point. I don't want to be in his position. I think if he makes the call, nobody can blame him. I mean, I don't think we should, we're supposed to fold this in theory. And I think this is what makes him a great poker player um, giving Phil better than who is able to also deviate from theoretical play and also think things through. This is street poker. This wow. is where not everything is happening as the solver is oh telling you. There are going to be certain lines, especially live, where your Makita. opponents will take lines dong in, dong into you using weird sizings that are not supposed to that's happen. This is where you rely on your experience, on your instincts. Trophies, great lay down. Um, that's that's why I think one he's of the one of the best the and has so many deep runs. And is crushing these He's live and online fields. Um, Lots to, to learn here. Up. You can see making good folds is very important in tournament poker. And if you want to have access to our ICM ranges in pair, we just recently opened up 
the ICMT again. We finished the beta phase. We have added tons of spots, not only for small fields, middle field, large field tournaments, money bubble situations where you can practice all sorts of different scenarios. Uh, one effective stack size or various stack size, short stack, mid stack, big stack, to see what you're supposed to defending, what you're supposed to three bet shove, what you're supposed to three bet as a big stack, mix stack, all these different scenarios that are incredibly difficult to study. And most players are just randomly clicking buttons. Of course, final table ranges from nine handed up to three handed, and you get to practice how to play proper tournament ranges under the impact of ICM. And we will, of course, keep adding spots. It also comes with video content. So with this scenario, you even have a video here. All where right, let's continue why with... we want to do certain things and what exploits and adjustments we need to make. So the perfect tool to bring your tournament game to the next level. Everything will be found in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the King Queen fold, what you afforded there as well. And then see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We're on our way to 100K. Thank you so much for the support. And then see you guys in the next video.